Happy Christmas, Harry. Hey guys, so today has been kind of a crazy day and I wasn't sure what I was going to do for my Vlogmas today, but I thought that I would show you my hair product drawer because this is not something that I've seen on YouTube before. I've seen makeup collections, I've seen what's in my bag, I've seen all those things, but I'm a hair product hoarder and my hair product drawer is extensive. So I'm going to go through the products that I have in my hair product drawer and show you what they are and maybe how I use them, whether I like them or not, whether I've repurchased them, things like that. You guys know if you watch my videos that I have curly hair. It's straight right now today, but I have curly hair, so I have a lot of hair products for different ways that I wear my hair. Without further ado, here is my hair product drawer. Hair product drawer! There's a lot of things. You can see right here it says hair products. Um, I haven't touched this though. So it's just kind of in the disheveled state that it always is in. Let's start with this one, which I use all, oh my God, it's getting empty all the time. This is my curling cream that I use when I leave my hair curly. It's really the only thing I need to use when I leave my hair curly. And I have a whole video about it if you want to go on my channel and look at it and see how I use this to curl my hair. This is uh, from Organics. It's their Moroccan Curling Perfection Cream. Then we have this big, huge bottle of Chi Silk Infusion, which I have also used forever and ever. I actually use it, when it whether my hair is curly or whether it's straight. It's just kind of like a Moroccan oil in that it just moisturizes your hair and it makes my hair look shinier whether I'm straightening it or I'm curling it or whatever and reduces frizz and I think it's kind of like a heat protectant too so I really like this and I've used it for a long time repurchased it like 80,000 times then we have this which is a Garnier Fructi Sleek and Shine for flat ironing your hair this is like a heat protectant and it makes it stay straight longer um, it's a spray I like it and I haven't repurchased it but yeah I would recommend this this I have repurchased this is just a leave-in light conditioning spray it says detangler and this is from thick hairline from Pantene I know that leave-in conditioner sprays like this aren't too different no matter what brand you get I've used the vo5 one and really liked it also but I just really like to have a spray like this like especially if I left my hair dry for too long before I want to do something with it and I kind of have to wet it again instead of just wetting it with water I'll use this and it reduces frizz and it makes my hair soft and manageable so I go through these pretty quickly so I really like this one this isn't mine I think it's my sister's and it seems pretty empty but this is just hairspray honestly I really don't use hairspray that much but this is an herbal essence hairspray I don't know what to tell you about it so yeah I guess it's a hairspray this is the Garnier Fructis uh, Curl, Scup Curl Sculpting Cream Gel, and I tried this when I was looking for something to curl my hair with, and I wasn't getting a good hold from some of the curl creams that I had tried, so I tried this cream gel. It does have more of a hold to it. It smells really good, um, and it defines the curls really well, but since it has that word gel in it, um, it does have a bit of stiffness when you put it in your hair. A little bit of a crunch if you don't do it carefully. So I don't really use this that much. Only very occasionally and I have not repurchased it and when I finish it I probably won't repurchase it but that's just how I feel about it. I do know people that really like this. This is the Sammy Big Curls Lightweight Curl Cream and what I like to use this for, it's pretty watery. Um, Ooh, look, curly haired people. It's pretty um, thin and watery, so I like to use this on day two if I'm leaving my hair curly to re scrunch my hair with because it's not sticky at all. It's just very milky and con conditionery and will help reduce any frizz that's developed over the course of the night or whatever if I'm doing day two curly hair. That's what I use this for. This is another curl cream from La Coupe. It has a hair on it. Ew, gross. Um, perfect curls. Honestly, I haven't really used this that much because I found the organics curl cream and I really liked it so I've been using that so I really have to experiment with this some more. My friend um, gave me this for my birthday and so I'm going to report back on this one but I think I used it once and I didn't mind it. I think it was pretty good so yeah. Then I have a full thickening cream from Living Proof. This is pretty expensive and it comes in this little teeny bottle. I get it at Sephora. Um, this is good if I really want my blow out to stay or I want it to be thicker, um, I will use this to build volume in my hair when I blow dry it straight. And this is very nearly empty, but it is along those same lines. This is the BB, BB, <laughs> Bumble and Bumble Styling Cream. 
and I really love this. I also bought it to try it as a curling something, but it doesn't work for curls, at least it didn't work for me, but I do love it when I straighten my hair, when I blow dry and then straighten my hair because it makes my hair feel really good, it makes it straighten easier, and it just stays forever when I use this. It doesn't crease really, it doesn't get frizzy or anything. It's a really good um, blow dry cream. Now we have the Batiste um, Proud and True Brit version of their dry shampoo. Um, I bought this at Ulta a few months ago. It was in one of my little mini hauls, and I haven't really used it that much. Um, I know a lot of people are obsessed with it on YouTube, and I have used it a little bit, but I'm not like floored by it. I think it's okay for a dry shampoo, but it's not the best thing I've ever used. Um, it smells nice, and you know, it's, it's, it's okay, but I wouldn't necessarily only repurchase this brand. I think this brand is, is just alright. This is a Sun Silk Waves of Envy that I think is also my sister's. It's like a twist cream gel thing and I don't usually use it unless everything else is out. It does smell really good though so yeah if you're looking for a cream gel that smells good maybe you can get this. This is old though. I don't even know if they still sell it. This is my hairspray. This is also from Pantene, the medium to thick line and it's a good hairspray. I like that it has a fine mist and it mists well in terms of hairspray when I do use it which is not very often. This is the Squab Sleek Anti-Frizz Cream. Another uh, pre blow dry cream that I use sometimes and it's fine. It does make my hair really soft when I use this. So if you're looking for soft hair, um, I would go for this one. Here's another curl cream, curl something, get curls from Sammy. And this is a thicker, more gel-like one than the milkier, uh, more liquidy one that I showed you before. And this is okay. It's okay. It's, I don't, obviously I don't like it as much as the Organics Curl Cream, but if I was out of that, I could use this on my curly hair and my curly hair would be okay. Just okay. I'm not gonna repurchase it, but it's okay. Then I have my little Moroccan Argan Oil, also an organics product, and honestly I don't see a big difference between this and the Chi Silk Infusion. They're kind of very similar. This might be a little bit thinner, but in terms of the way that it styles your hair, um, this is very similar and I can kind of use either one of these interchangeably. This is my last bottle of the Frizz Ease Wind Down Cream that was discontinued in 2009 and what made me get all those other curl creams to try and replace it. I have a whole video on it um, called like John Frieda, what are you doing? Like why did you <laughs> discontinue my favorite curl cream? And it still has a couple uses in it and I just, I can't use it. I don't know, I just can't. Like I love it so much that I don't want to use it and I just hold on to it and hoard it, you know, because yeah, life. And then I have this, which was also with the same line when that line was not discontinued. This is um, from the John Frieda Frizzies Relax for Chemically Straightened Hair Ripple Effect Wave Maker Styling Spray. So this was supposed to be make waves in your hair when you had chemically relaxed hair, which I actually did when I was in like middle school and stuff. I had chemically relaxed hair. I did not embrace my curls back then. Um, but I don't really use this. I always use the cream to leave my hair wavy and not this. But I think my sister uses this maybe, or did. But we still have some. So you can't get this anymore. It's also discontinued. This is all my hair products. Woo, yeah, hair products. So let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I have 18. Why don't you go to your hair product drawer and tell me if this is a lot. Do you have 18 products that you pretty much use on your hair, almost all of them? So you guys can leave me a video response or just a comment telling me if I have too many hair products. I don't care what you say because I don't think I do because I need them. I need them. Maybe you can tell me what you have and show me maybe your hair product drawer. If you have a specified drawer or place where you keep your hair products, you have to if you're like me and you have a lot. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you all tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.